Spiders are some of the most widely feared animals in the world, with many people associating them with venomous bites, sticky webs, and long, creepy legs. But one family of spiders sticks out from the rest as being unusually adorable, the jumping spiders. With short, stubby legs, a fluffy appearance, and huge eyes, jumping spiders are some of the most personable arachnids in the world. But out of all of the North American species, one sticks out as being both the largest and possibly the cutest, the regal jumping spider. I'm Mikey Green, and my goal is to show just how little we really know about the strange creatures living their hidden lives all around us. Today, we are exploring a dry sandy scrub habitat in South Florida in search of one of these regal jumpers. These huge spiders love hiding in crevices and short palm trees, where the webs females build are often visible. After some searching through the palm trees, I saw what looked like some legs sticking out from a gap in the fronts. Let's see what it is. All right, check this amazing animal out right here. This is exactly what we came out into this amazing Florida scrub habitat for. And this is one of the most amazing spider species that you can find out here. And this is something that I've been wanting to see for a really long time. This is the regal jumping spider, Phidippus regius, one of the most iconic spider species here in North America. And a species that is so unique and so interesting. So let's learn all about this amazing arachnid. The regal jumping spider right here is a member of probably the most famous family of spiders out there, the Salticidae, or the jumping spiders. However, unlike most jumping spiders, which are incredibly tiny and hard to interact with, Phidippus regius, the regal jumping spider, is unusually large for a jumping spider and is incredibly easy to interact with. The regal jumping spider, while being quite variable in color, should actually be quite easy to identify due to its unusually large size for a jumping spider, as well as the oftentimes metallic chelicerae, or the appendages on the face that house those venom-injecting fangs. Now yes, I did just say that this animal is venomous, however, this species is completely harmless to humans and should definitely be nothing to be feared. As number one, they are not at all inclined to bite. And number two, their venom is not at all potent to people. It is for killing their prey which consists mostly of smaller insects. This harmlessness and non-aggression towards people is one of the many reasons that these regal jumping spiders make great pets. Another reason is the just incredible levels of interactiveness shared by pretty much all jumping spiders, but especially these larger size ones like the regal. You can see those anterior median eyes or those front eyes are incredibly enlarged for a spider. And that helps give jumping spiders like this regal jumping spider right here, incredibly good vision. Besides that, jumping spiders are incredibly intelligent for spiders and are very well capable of being able to calculate their next move. As you can see, the way this spider is moving around my hands is very purposeful, stopping to feel and look around every corner. And every now and then, those two large anterior median eyes will lock eyes with me. And that is because these jumping spiders have vision that is on par with some mammals. That is absolutely incredible for something this tiny. Jumping spider vision is far above any other spider's vision. And that combined with their level of intelligence makes them such an easy species of spider to handle and have positive interactions with. This individual right here is a female. And I could tell that mostly because of her larger size as well as paler kind of dusty light brown coloration. The females of the species are usually this light grayish color or a light brownish color with some black patterning. While the males are usually mostly black with some white spots. One thing that does hold true between the two sexes though is like I said, those beautiful metallic chelicerae. This individual right here actually has a gorgeous metallic purple color on her chelicerae. And I know that some male Phidippus regius can get a gorgeous emerald green metallic color on their chelicerae. It's so incredible finally being able to handle the largest species of jumping spider that we get here in North America for the first time. And unlike any other jumping spider I've ever handled, she actually has some noticeable weight to her. I can tell exactly where she is, anywhere on my hand. She's almost weighing down on it. But otherwise, besides this unusually large size for a jumping spider, handling this is just like handling any other small jumping spider. The way they move is just like any other jumping spider. The way they feel around with their front legs and look around with those huge front two eyes is just like any other jumper. But their large size, which makes it so much easier to keep track of them than your average jumping spider, 
makes this Phidippus regius right here an incredible introductory spider for people who are afraid of spiders but willing to learn about them. And I hope that you, watching me handle this incredibly adorable spider right here, have gained a new appreciation for these incredibly misunderstood and over-feared animals. While not all spiders are as cute and cuddly as this little regal jumping spider right here, or as curious and interactive, almost every spider is as harmless and non-aggressive as this regal jumping spider right here. And learning more about the cutest and the cuddliest of the spiders helps appreciate the so-called uglier and scarier and creepier looking spiders too. They're just so incredibly adorable. But I feel like we've had enough time with this absolutely beautiful regal jumping spider right here. This is my first time ever handling this species. She's actually building some webbing on me now, which means she's probably getting a little bit stressed finally. Let's release her right back where we found her in that palm frond. And if you enjoyed watching this video about the largest jumping spider in North America, then make sure to check out the video we're in a similar kind of habitat. We found what is quite possibly the smallest jumping spider in the world. Hope to see you there.